Hello, and welcome to another video from Let's Drink Tea. Today we're going to look at how to brew jasmine tea. More specifically, we're going to brew jasmine dragon phoenix pearl tea. And as you can see, that's these little tightly wound balls of tea. Um, it's green tea, uh, but you can see there's a kind of a silver, silverish streak in all these balls. This is uh, one of the highest quality jasmine teas. And uh, well, let's go ahead and brew it. Um, so for this, you want to use water that is 80 degrees Celsius or 176 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's already prepared. So you want to make sure the water is not boiling, right? It's uh, quite a bit below boiling. And that's really the key to brewing good jasmine tea. If you don't do that, it'll definitely turn out bitter. All right, um, I've already prepared the right amount here. I usually just kind of judge, uh, you know, I don't measure it. I just kind of, I know about how much to use. But basically, if you do want to measure, um, you want to use about just slightly less than a teaspoon of tea per four ounces of water. So this is obviously a lot more than four ounces, so I'm using more than a teaspoon. And for the steeping time for this tea, um, I'll go ahead and put the water in there. It's right around 80 degrees now. I'll go ahead. And as I was saying, the steeping time for this tea, I would say about one to two minutes. Um, for the the pearl tea, I would do longer, so two minutes. Give it time to, like, give the pearls time to unwind. Uh, so I'll go ahead and set that there. And you can see I'm using this vessel because it's uh, see-through. Usually I would use something like this uh, Japanese kyusu here. Um, it's just nicer, you know, or an ising or a gaiwan, just some kind of traditional brewing vessel. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter. And I'm using this right now just so that we can see it. Um, the tea, again, here's the package of tea. I bought it in a Chinese grocery store. So um, you basically just get this little Ziploc bag and then fill it up yourself. And yeah, it's actually pretty nice, though. Okay, it's been about two minutes. So let's go ahead and look. You can see the tea is a nice yellowish, greenish color. That's basically what you want. I could smell it too. I wish you could smell it, but the jasmine tea is just, I don't know, I love the smell of jasmine tea. It's one of my favorites. Um, so go ahead and let's let this drip for a bit. Good enough. And I'm going to put the leaves aside here and actually save them because you can get, with this tea, I usually get about three infusions, but in general with jasmine tea, you get about three to five good infusions. And I would increase the steeping time 30 seconds to a minute for each. For this one, I, I usually increase it about 30 seconds for the first one, or the, the second infusion. And then, uh, you know, just usually let it go four minutes, five minutes for the last one. Uh, if I do a fourth infusion, then I'll just increase the third one 30 seconds and then do the fourth one for a long time. I'll also often uh, increase the water temperature and just use straight boiling water just to get every little bit of tea out of the leaves. Um, it will make it a little more bitter, but I don't mind that. All right, and then usually, you know, when I use the Kyusu, I also use the matching cups. They're a bit bigger. You know, I would never use this because, you know, you breathe on it and the tea will evaporate. But just for the sake of, you know, showing you the color, I thought, man, eh, it doesn't really show up, does it? Very pale. But, yeah, so I'm not going to use that to drink. Anyways, uh, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and head to the site, letsdrinktea.com. You can leave comments there. You can uh, contact me through the contact page. And we also have a lot of information about jasmine tea or any other kind of tea. Thanks for watching.